Hey guys, this is Rohit and today I'm gonna show you the Resurrection Remix ROM and uh, its version is 5.7. So let us start with the features of this ROM. So first thing is configurations. In personalization there is an option called configuration so let us explore it. Here are the status bar tweaks, notification drawer, quick setting panel, navigation bar, button control, recent, lock screen, animation, gestures, multitasking, miscellaneous and updates. So in status bar uh, you can just introduce these icons right here. I mean uh, yeah these icons like root permission icon, network, battery and you can also uh, edit and customize this uh, color also. So for example I'm going to show you the changing color of the clock. So now I've changed it to red. So you can uh, do this and uh, find uh, many more customization in this option next thing is notification drawer and uh, in this uh, you can also change the color of the notification received I have uh, made it to black and violet you can change according to your own like and wish next thing is the navigation bar you can just in introduce a navigation bar right here on your mobile phone and uh, uh, you can customize it from the fling settings here Next thing is a button control. Uh, there is nothing new in it. You can just assign uh, different actions to your buttons. And uh, this is the lock screen. This is the recent. This is the animation. You can change the animation of the, uh, I mean, of your app switching, your uh, entering app, or your uh, closing lock screen, etc. Here is the gestures. Uh, I like this option, right? Uh, because you can have gestures anywhere on the screen. So now. Uh, I have enabled the gesture anywhere feature so you can just tap on left side of the screen oh sorry I need to enable that so now you will uh, get a prompt of draw your gesture so I have just yeah so I have an, um, just assigned this gesture for contacts and it has become a, it has shown us something right there so let's move on to next multitasking so this is called the floating window or multitasking mode so I, I'm just gonna show you how to do it so for that you need to open uh, a couple of apps so I will just open a calculator and message So now right here uh, you need to just open two of the apps and you can just hit the multitask icon right here and you will get both of these. I get a messaging right here you can type something and you can just have a calculator calculations right here simultaneously. So this was it in the customization and so we'll next move on to the next one. theme chooser. So for theme chooser you can download themes from the play store by uh, hitting this download bar right here it will uh, direct you to the play store so you can just apply any of these and also you have an option of uh, not un enabling everything uh, so I'll just not enable wallpaper and font So you have to wait for the system UI for restart. Yeah, so you get uh, this settings option. See, as you can see, it has become black. It looks like the OnePlus X and it is a quite good theme for this. So make sure you choose the right theme for your phone and uh, download it from the Play Store. 
So we'll move on to ne- to the next thing or the next settings. The huge drawback of Android phone is the battery backup. So various custom ROMs are implemented for it to in order to enhance the battery. And I will try it in the resurrection ROM. So here is the enhanced battery mode. You can just alert uh, according to your own per- wish. You can have the power server, efficiency or performance. So for that uh, you can see my battery backup is quite well. And because that is because I didn't use the internet on this phone or Wi-Fi, and it's a pretty good battery backup right here. So you can just enable battery saver at a certain percentage from right here. So that was it in the battery guys. Uh, battery ba- ba- backup of this room is quite good if you don't use the internet, but uh, using internet it, it will give you a, 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 of about one day. So please try it. So we'll, we will move on to the this next. This is the dedicated memory option. Uh, you can just view uh, how much free RAM your phone has, how much is being used. And you can also see the app started on the boot. Uh, you can just disable these apps because uh, it will just take more boot time if uh, there are more apps for it. If you disable them, uh, your boot will be quite uh, quick and uh, your phone will be quite good to start. So this is the app usage, uh, I mean how the apps are using RAM. So you will just find that Android OS is uh, using much more app right here, much more RAM right here. So that was the memory uh, or you can call it the RAM allotment guys. So there is this uh, performance t- uh, tweaks right here. So I'll just uh, start it for you. Uh, there is uh, this. This is the kernel version right here. It is a CPU information, the hardware number, the memory information also right here. You can just have the CPU control right here. Apply on boot. You can just enable this option and you can just see how much core uses, uh, how much of your CPU frequency. And you can just set the minimum and maximum frequency uh, for your phone to be not heated up. So that was about the performance guys, uh, we'll move on to the next thing, we will ho- move on to the home so screen. So now let us customize the home screen, uh, you can just uh, move this right here, there are the icon labels, scroll wallpaper, grid size and you can have a light or dark theme right here, so I'll just put a dark. You can you can also protect apps from here, uh, you can put a pattern for the apps and make them disappear from this. So that was it in the home screen customization. We'll move on to the uh, a app called OmniSwitch. So it is an inbuilt app. So I'll just enable this OmniSwitch. Now I'll show you how it does work. So there is uh, this green color right here on your home screen. You have to just hit it. You will get uh, your phone's uh, recent apps right here. You can just do various things right uh, from this icon. You can just dismiss all. You can dismiss one. You can open settings from here. You can open the apps from here. And this option proves to be very useful uh, in the tricky situations. You can just pin something right here and you can close it. So that was about the Omni switch guys. We'll move on to the next thing. Uh, the, the bar which is uh, just comes up with the ROM is from the left side. I'll just show you the stock bar. This one uh, comes up uh, if you drag from left side you can just open the settings right here. You can have the minimization. You can have the recent app screen. You can have the settings. And you can have various things right here. You can have the, it shows about the notifications, time and Wi-Fi. So that was about the Resurrection Remix guys. Uh, This version is quite stable and I think you should upgrade to it. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my channel.